Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have top 10 centre back list on FM24 after this winter update. If you guys enjoy this type of video let me know in the comment section and by liking and subscribing and I'll keep pumping out these top 10 lists. Alright, no more talking into the top 10 list. In at number 10, Joe Gomez. He is a well-rounded centre back who is maybe more suited to playing right back because he's got that first touch to dribble and he can cross the ball, he's fast, you know, he doesn't have elite marking and tackling, I would say that's 16 plus, but he is also a good player and I'd love to have him on any team I'm rebuilding. So, for that reason, Joe Gomez goes to number 10. Okay, N2. Number 9 is Mickey van de Ven, the new Tottenham signing has just made it onto our list. I was thinking about him and Joe Gomez, Joe Gomez may be better but this guy is just faster, he's a unit, he's more in there you know, he gets you. And he's, the, he's brave, he's determined, he works hard, he's fast, he's, he's more than fast, he's rapid, he's, he can dribble, he can hit the ball, he can mark, he can tackle, he's got it all. And that's why he's number nine. He's very good. Maybe too pricey for the list higher up, but he's a good player. So, ninth place. Number eight. This might surprise you. He maybe should be higher. Alessandro Bastoni. He was highlighted from a young age to be a great player, and I think he's reached it. Maybe he's dropped a bit below the potential, but he's definitely almost there. He's got that great natural fitness. He's balanced. He can jump high, he can tackle, he can head the ball, he's brave, he's determined, he works hard, he's got the teamwork. He's an all-round great centre-back and a bit cheaper than the rest of the players on this list. So easier to pick up if you're looking to buy one. So, number 8. I was going between Bastoni and Bremer for that number 8 and number 7 position. But number 7 is Bremer because of the elite like tackling, marking, heading that he's got in his capabilities. He's got 16 jump and reach as well, 18 strength. He's definitely an elite centre back and one you should definitely pick up as he's also a cheap player. The Brazilian is a very good player from Juventus and I love Bremer. He's great. He's great. So pick him up if you can. That's our number seven spot. Milan Skriniar makes our number six spot as he is definitely definitely an elite center back look at the the unit on him he can tackle you he's gonna hurt you you know <laughs> he's got the mark and he's got the head and he's aggressive he's brave he can anticipate stuff and he's just brilliant now i would definitely want him in any team and i'm sure any of you would as well as he is also one of the cheaper players on the list surprisingly but he is very good and very worth the money so if you can pick him up now this might surprise a few of you mark gahey is on my list a 22 year old from crystal palace is the number five center back you're probably thinking what the hell no this guy is extremely good and i love signing mark gahey and he's definitely worth signing if Chris Palace go down you get him on a cut price deal 44 million usually um, a real good player and I would love to see if any of you pick him up as well so let me know what you think of Mark Gahey all right then in at number four just missing out on the podium is Eder Militao and the main reason he's missing out is the injury proneness. As you can see on that left side, he has damaged cruciate ligaments and he's out for a whole season. Now that is not what you want when you're signing a centre back or looking for a good one. If they get injured too much or too hard of an injury, like he's only played 160 games in over 10 years of a footballing career, it says on the bottom right. So you'd think maybe you'd need more, all right? But he is still a very good centre back, and you could look to pick him up if you were willing to take the risk on him. 
but we'll move into our top three. Now, in third place, Kim Min Jae. When he was at Napoli, what was love and life? He was great. The South Korean genius. His, his interceptions. They, you don't. They don't show you interceptions. His interceptions are great. But yeah, he's he's an elite. He says says right there. Media description. Elite. I'm telling you, he's one of the best on the game, and definitely. If you can afford that, Jesus, what a price. If you can get that, sign him. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I didn't even finish what I was saying about Kim Min Jae there. But um, this is number two, Christian Romero. The second best centre-back on the game at a way cheaper price as well. He's aggressive, maybe he'll get sent off once in a while. Uh, but he can tackle, he can mark, he can head the ball, he's well positioned. He's working hard, and his potential is a uh, hundred and seventy-eight. So if you're thinking you need a centre back, Christian Romero is probably the guy for you. So try sign him up, maybe. All right, and an obvious one. I wasn't going to put Virgil Van Dijk on here, but we are going to put Ronald Araujo, the best centre back on the game, in my opinion, as his mentals are great. His f physicals are great and his technicals are great. His marking is 18, his tackling 17, his head is 17. It's gorgeous. What a player and you can expect to see loads from him on the pitch. He's going to hold you to clean sheets every single game and he is world class. But that is going to be our list of the top 10 centre backs come back next time and let me know if you want to see more of these because I will definitely keep uploading for you guys. So like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.